enjoyable life at home is a lot easier and convenient, don't you? Well, all of that and even more is possible given that we restore the right systems by the right devices for our home or our offices. And so today's, on today's edition of the Real Estate Show, we talk smart technology for your home or your office. I have with me a fine gentleman who help us better understand smart technology. So for us, um, installations in our homes and our offices are concerned. You're welcome to another edition of the Real Estate Show with me, Ifia Fusua. The show is proudly sponsored by Gold Key Properties. Gold Key Properties, they remain the leaders in the development of quality residential, commercial, and mixed use spaces in all prime locations in Accra. Now, Gold Key Properties has a project at the moment. It's called the Cantonment City Town. All, most of the apartments there are already gone, but they do have some apartments left. You don't want to be left out, so do well to um, look out for the information on the crawler on your screen and get in touch with Gold Key Properties now. The time is now or never. Right. Also, the show is supported by um, Gassam Gassam. The nation builder, right? So let's go for a break. When we do return, I'll introduce my guest and then the conversation will begin. This is the real estate show you're back shortly. Ghana's real estate industry is thriving. A reflection of the growth the nation as a whole is experiencing. Gold Key is part of this story. We have a unique opportunity to introduce world-class standards of luxury to the real estate market in Ghana. From pristine residential projects to high-rise commercial buildings, Gold Key is changing our class landscape. The past decade has seen an amazing journey as we have the structures in place to engineer an even more glorious future. So you're welcome back from the break. This is the real estate show with me, Ifia Fosua. Earlier on, um, I did indicate today we are talking smart home technology, smart technology installations for your home or your offices. And of course, we all enjoy it when um, it's a lot easier to turn off your light, turn on, turn on your refrigerator, or you know, control devices all through your phone or, or a smart device, even when you're far away from home of that office. We all want that life, soft life, and as some, some people would put it, don't we? And so today we delve a lot deeper into all these and more, right? I have with me Robert Mason. He is a business improvement manager with the Automation Ghana Group. Automation Ghana Group has been, um, they are an electrical engineering solutions provider with expertise in industrial and building automation. They've been doing such installations for almost two decades. So we are talking to masters in the market. There's a lot to expect from this interview. So don't miss, um, ensure you don't miss a thing, right? Robert, it's good to have you on the real estate show. Happy to be here. Right. So um, when we talk about smart technology in buildings, um, what exactly do we mean? Um, what we are trying to say is that um, various features within a building or various devices within a building should be able to take action without human intervention and also should be able to communicate to the um, users of the building um, when their situation or when their conditions change. So for example, um, we now have smart lights and the lights should be able to tell you when they are on and when they are off and should be able to tell you whether they've been dimmed by 20% or 80%. The light should also be able to go off and go, come, um, come on, depending on occupancy, whether there are people present in the room or not, or um, depend on the time of day, okay? So your, your outdoor lighting, for example, 
should be able to come on automatically in the night. Okay, um, your security system, for example, should be if part of a smart um, home system should be able to arm itself when you are when you go to bed. So um, if you have smart devices uh, in your home um, with an, a home assistant, you can just say, um, for example, Alexa, good night, okay. and your alarm system would get armed automatically. Your indoor light should go off. If you have smart curtains, your curtains would close. If you have some music, music would, would, would put you to bed. Your outdoor lights come on automatically. These are some of the things you can do with um, smart technology. I yeah. see. I see there are lots of benefits in there. Yeah. The, the number one for me is uh, energy efficiency. But yes. what are the other benefits you get to meet as well? Should you install some of these smart technological devices? OK. So in our part of the world, um, like you said, energy savings is one of the big reasons. Um, not just light, lighting, but controlling your air conditioning as well. So that um, if you have windows open, you can automatically turn off the air conditions. You don't have to think, that, oh, I have to turn the AC off, no. But once the sensors detect that the windows are open, it goes off. Okay, you can also, also get alerts. So if you want to um, cool the room and somebody mistakenly opens the window, you get an alert and you can close the window. You can also um, automate the windows, make them motorized. Okay. So that if you expect them to be closed at any point in time, the smart system will just will close all the windows. Mm -hmm. So if you leave and, and go, go to, to work and uh, being human as well, we can forget to, to close the windows. Mm -hmm. The system can close all the windows and um, turn, close, close all the curtains and make sure that energy is being conserved. Okay, all your appliances can also be turned off your television sets, all appliances that should be off, will be turned off. And then um, you can maximize on energy savings. Apart from that, um, just by doing this, it's also adding some convenience to your life. Exactly. Yeah, if you, if you leave home, if you leave home, um, sometimes you can forget to lock your gate. But if you have a smart system and you have smart locks in place, even though you forget, you can check and check your phone to see whether it's locked. Or you can just indicate that you are away. And while you are away, gates should be locked, all doors should be locked, all windows should be closed. And so you, 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 there's that convenience as well. And then um, the security aspect of it is also very good. While you are away, your security system should be armed automatically. Okay, so with a, a smart home system, it would integrate with, if you have an existing um, security system, we can integrate the security system into your smart home so that your smart home will talk to the security system and give it instructions. Right. So the smart home knows that you are away from, away from home and therefore it tells the security system to arm itself. Mm. Okay, and things like that. Does the size of my apartment matter in, in deciding whether or not to install the devices? No, it doesn't, it doesn't at all. Um, you can have a chamber and hall and still implement the smart home system. Um, it can be designed to simply control your lights in your living room or maybe lights in the, lights in the living room and bedroom. It's, it's really up to you. Um, it, you just have to control specific devices. And as your home begins to get bigger, you add on other devices. So in a, in a small chamber and home, apart from your lights, you can decide to buy a, a, a smart vacuum cleaner. Okay. So you don't want to do your own cleaning. So we have the vacuum cleaner sitting in the house. Anytime you, you leave, to work in your absence it will do all your cleaning for you I see. you know things like that that sounds yeah. interesting yeah. how about control do you need a special device to enable you to control these installations so you can control um, with a smartphone or from your computer or a laptop um, you can also achieve control using a, a home assistant like Alexa or Bixby so these are, it's like a speaker that can com communicate with you. And basically when you speak, it would control the various devices that are connected to it. And that's how it's in almost every home now. We yes. need one called Ikea. <laughs> Ikea, give me some data. Come, come and see us, we'll customize something for okay, you. Okay, I would love that. <laughs> right, so is there a specific time you decide to decide going smart? Do you start when the foundation is, is about to go up? Do, you, do people come to you when they 
when, when they are about to design their building, put up the design for their building? At what, what point in time? Yes, um, when you're putting together the design for the building and um, all the features you intend to have, you can, you can start a conversation because then you can discover what the possibilities are. You know, um, some people would just automate their lights and air conditioners, but others want a fully automated home. So you want to look at every aspect of the home and what can, so windows and doors. Um, you can have your typical windows and doors fitted with devices that allow us to be able to detect whether they are open or closed, or, and then also um, units that will allow us to automatically open the door. Like, like some kind of, uh, should I say, a ghost house. The doors that open on their own, windows that open on their own and close on their own, that kind of thing. Um, fitting all these devices in, they must be fitted such that it's not um, visible to the eye. People shouldn't, shouldn't be able to tell that you've connected something to the door. Does that, that it's, take something out of this smartness? It doesn't, but in, um, just like your lighting, you don't see cables hanging around. All of this is within the building. So at the beginning of your project, you'd want to consider what is required and then we can come in and help you design, okay? okay? The benefit of installing smart, um, our smart home system when you are um, starting your project is that it saves on the electrical wiring that needs to be done. Oh, yeah, so especially if you want to control lights and ACs, uh -huh. um, the electrical wiring is different. And when we introduce the smart um, technology in there, uh -huh. the amount of cable that needs to be used reduces. So you, there are savings there in the initial investment. Okay, so ideally, it's, it would be good to talk to us when you are planning your project. However, most Ghanaians are renting. Okay, and so there are solutions out there that you can just pick off the shelf. Um, usually, a smart home requires a controller or a hub that would talk to, that would communicate with other devices or talk to other devices and tell them, tell them to do things and then also check what is happening with each device. But uh, the manufacturers today, Samsung and Amazon and all the other guys, have designed their lights to be smart. Mm -hmm. So the lights are, are able to communicate so you can have, that's what we call the standalone solution. You can buy a light bulb and you install the manufacturer's app, Samsung app or um, TP-Link app, depending on the brand of the, the bulb, you can control the lights. You just fit them in and then you connect them to your Wi-Fi network. You're able to turn the lights on and off. You can even set the moods and things like that. So there's um, a do-it-yourself approach where you can buy, it's, it won't cost you much less than 500, 300 CDs, you can start automating bits and pieces of your home. The advantage with us is that um, with these systems, the bulb needs internet connectivity. Okay, so when you lose internet connection, you find that you are not able to turn the light on and turn them off. Okay, that is while you are in the home. Okay, but with our system, because we are not going through the internet, while you are in the house, you are able to turn the lights on and off. Wow. All right. Yeah. Um, I hope it's it's yeah, clear. Exactly. So yeah. you, you don't always need the internet to enable you to control some of these installations. Yes. The only time internet is a must is when you are away from home. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does location also determine whether you can go smart or not? L location? Yeah. Um, no, it doesn't. However, I, I asked because of the internet uh, bit. Okay, so um, what, what I meant by that is that, so if my home was automated and I lost internet connectivity, while sitting here, I wouldn't be able to tell whether the lights are on and off. I wouldn't be able to control okay. because the internet enables me to communicate with the house, right. okay? So that's the only time that you need the internet. Okay. However, um, a smart home can be programmed to do certain things depending on um, what you want to achieve. So for example, um, assuming I live um, somewhere in Kaswa, for example, and it starts raining, I want to be probably close all the windows and close all the curtains. Mm -hmm. I don't have to do it 
I don't have to send a command from here. The system would be able to, when the, it starts raining, detect that it's raining. Oh, there's and, a system like that. Yes, detect that it's raining. I think and we need to add <laughs> smart human, Robert Smart. smart. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds yeah. interesting. So, so basically, to do things without you actually sending a, an instruction. Right. Yeah, so while here, maybe, we're, maybe it's 7 p.m., the lights will come on on its on their own. I don't need to send an instruction. So even though I don't have internet, my house is behaving like a smart building mm. and be doing the things I've commanded it to do, pre pre commanded. Okay, that when it's late in the night, turn the lights on. When um, when it's late in the night, turn the lights on. Um, when it's time to go to bed, turn the lights off. Things like that. In the morning, turn on my water heater before I wake up and wake me up at 6.30 to take my bath and read my to-do list to me, open the curtains, play some music. Okay. You can pre-program it. So every morning you wake up, your water, your water is ready for your bath. Oh. There's your your to-do list is being read to you. Your curtains open, Sounds music. Like. Yes. What has, uh, <laughs> about some of the trends? Okay, so um, I think nowadays people, people have motorized gates. Okay. Motorized gates so that when they drive to their homes, the gates open automatically. Right. Yeah, so you have um, RFID tags in your car so that when you get to the gate, the smart home system will know that you are at, you are at home and open the gates for you. These are general trends that you would find. Um, we also, you will also find the um, lighting as a, as a trend, um, smart lighting on off automatically. Um, people are also incorporating LED lights in their homes to achieve this um, cinema experience. So when it's time for, to watch a movie, you can change the ambience in the house, change the color to some pink or mm. blue color and enjoy that movie. Okay, and um, there's also the entertainment system. Um, very, we, we have what we call zoning. So in a three bedroom house, um, you can have music playing in one bedroom and uh, movie being watched in another, another bedroom, all on the same system, but zoned so that you can be doing multiple, playing multiple media at the same time. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So this... Robert, um, thanks so much for talking to us. So yeah, we're sure. still at the Automation Ghana Group. All the people here are smart. <laughs> Robert Mason Smart. We also have another smart guy coming up. I call, I, I'll call him Kofi Smart. <laughs> right. So let's go for a break. When we do return, Kofi will join us and we'll continue with the conversation. Remember, the show is proudly brought to you by um, Gold Key Properties. They're being the leaders in the development of quality residential, um, commercial, and mixed use spaces in all prime locations in Accra. The show is also supported by Gassim Gassim, the nation. We go for a break and return shortly to stay. You all come back from the break. This is the real estate show with me, Ifia Fusua. Today we are talking smart homes and offices. Um, before we went for that break, we did talk about some trends. So for us, um, these installations are concerned. Right, the show is probably sponsored by Gold Key Properties. Gold Key Properties um, currently has a new project. It's called the Cantonment City Tower. It's fast selling and you don't want to be left out. So do well to grab an apartment now. You can get in touch with Gold Key Properties at info at Gold Key Com. Also, look out for the information on the caller and get in touch with Gold Key. So, the show is also supported by Gassam Gassam, the nation builder. So, earlier, Robert spoke about some trends. Um, so, for us, smart installations for our homes and our offices are concerned. Now, I have Coffee Smart with me. <laughs> right. So, I have Coffee Asante Bodrio. He is a solutions and sales consultant, right, uh, with the automation. Ghana group. Um, Kofi, good to have you. Thank you for having me. 
Right, so earlier Robert spoke about some of the trends, so for us these installations are concerned. Walk us through why we need them to move. Okay, so essentially uh, smart home systems, as the name implies, it makes your home smart. Uh, looking at our part of the world where energy consumption is a major challenge with regards to high uh, cost of uh, electricity bills, smart homes uh, bring in uh, an aspect of energy savings where you are able to turn off your lights, your air conditioning and your TV when you don't have them being used as well as being able to create uh, automation scenes. So if you are somebody who has a daily routine where you wake up at certain times, you want uh, your coffee to be made, you want your water to be heated, you want certain things to be done on a routine, you can have scenes where you can trigger one uh, scene which would have all these actions put in place together with all the smart devices that you have. So essentially, it makes the home more convenient, it provides a level of uh, energy savings, as well as being able to integrate your security systems to make your home more secure and smart for uh, occupancy. Right, so there's, there's this video online yes. of a smart bed. Yes. And in this video, <laughs> you can see the, <laughs> the bed shaking the person. When, the, when the alarm is on, yes, exactly. <laughs> there are comments like, I wouldn't want to use this place. <laughs> <laughs> you end up with body aids. Yes, those, those are the many possibilities of the smart home system. Uh, you could have uh, vacuum, uh, automated vacuum cleaners that could map out your apartment and could clean the room when you are not around. So essentially it gives you control over your home, whether you are within the home or you are out of the home remotely, either through an app uh, or through your voice control when you are at the home. So essentially those are many possibilities which are available with smart home systems in general. Everybody afford a, a smart home or a smart office? Definitely everyone can afford. It all depends on what you want to start with. You can start with as little as just controlling the lights in your room. Then you can migrate to having an audio system to opening your curtains, to having LED strip lights. So it all depends on what you want to start with. And here at the Automation Ghana Group, we have a smart home showroom. So when customers come in, we take them to the showroom and we demonstrate the features and the capabilities of the system. And then we sit with them to understand what they want to implement for their home. And then based on that, we can come up with an estimate or a budget to suit what you want for the meantime. And as your needs grow or increase, you can come back to us and then we expand on the system. Yes. Oh, okay, so the good thing is you can actually go smart in phases. Exactly. It's 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 a scalable it. solution. Yes, a scalable solution. So anybody can afford it. Yeah, you can come in with the lights, and then you can add your. Uh, most common is the, the sockets, I mean, uh, turning off uh, your TV or turning your water heater or any other loads on with the smart plugs. Yeah, that's very common. So you can do that either through the app or through voice control. So with those basic features, you can then migrate into more complex uh, features like the LED lights, the zone audios and uh, the motorized curtains and the blinds and all that. Yes. So say you want to do it in faces. So we have an apartment. Let's yes. begin from the gate. Yes. Where do you begin? Would you advise that I, what if I want to start, go smart by starting from my kitchen? Would you advise that I do that then? Build it up. So you start from the gate, then you move to the garden, you move inside to the interiors, the living room. It's yeah, so, so essentially, yeah, so essentially that's what uh, our engineers do. We visit your site and then we give you the many possibilities that uh, you can have with regards to uh, the various section of your home. So starting from your gate, you could have a motorized gate and then you could go into the main entrance where you could have a smart door lock and then you could have uh, lights which are being turned on by motion sensors or you could have them being turned on wirelessly from your phone and then we look at uh, security systems because usually for homes uh, security is a very prime uh, important aspect so we look at integration of cctv systems intruder alarm systems and also systems that can monitor fire as well as your uh, water levels in your tank and then we could have other features incorporated, uh, lighting control with the LED strip lights, motorized curtains. So essentially, we'll walk you through all the possibilities that you can have within the home. And then we sit with you and then you can decide that, okay, I want to start with the gate at the entrance. I want to start with my main door. I want to have uh, automated sprinklers. Mm -hmm. So these are all discussions that we have with our clients to ensure that we, we fit within your budget and then you can start and scale the solution upwards based on your requirements. Yes. It looks like if, if you have your own home and 
you haven't gone smart yet. You're losing a lot. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, with, with with the recent increase in uh, electricity tariffs, it's, mm -hmm. it's very essential to have a smart home. Else, mm -hmm. you would forget to uh, turn uh, devices off and you, you would have to come back home to turn them on because you know the bill you are going to get at the end of the month is going to be enormous. So essentially, if you have such systems, you can essentially monitor the devices within your home, you can turn them off. And also with a smart home system, you could install a smart energy meter. So aside the meter that you would have from ECG, which gives you your general consumption, you could have your own meter, which monitors your own consumption against what you pay. So within a month, you can have a, an energy plan that's okay, every month I want to be within this threshold with regards to energy consumption. So it helps you to also manage your consumption because you know that during the mornings, I, I only have maybe these lights off at this time, they are supposed to go off at this time, this comes on. So it helps you to have a routine with regards to how the loads operate within your home so that you are able to tell that, okay, at the end of the month, I expect to have consumed this amount of energy looking at how the home has been designed with the smart home system. Thanks, coffee smart. Yes. <laughs> what kind of installations can we put in place for homes with babies and the aged? Okay, so for homes uh, where you have uh, babies and the aged, you could have um, smart um, cameras with uh, two-way audio. Uh, so with these, if let's say someone falls and triggers a loud sound, you are able to hear uh, what's going on. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the cameras are able to monitor the movements of the children. So they have smart tracking. So as they move, the camera is able to follow their movement to see how they are faring, to see how uh, what's going on. Uh, when it comes to intruder alarm systems, uh, it's not only for keeping people out of the home, but also for elderly people, you have what we call a panic button. If they feel they are in distress, they could press a panic button and that could trigger an alert to you that uh, they are in distress and need your assistance. So these are some of the devices that can be put in place to monitor your children, uh, monitor uh, people within the home, uh, and as well as uh, be able to trigger alerts for aged people if they are in distress and need your help. Yes. So earlier when someone mentioned smart and smart installations for smart husbands and <laughs> smart wives. <laughs> 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 what do you have to say in response to that? Uh, well, I'm, 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 it would be interesting to have uh, a system like that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll gradually get there. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, Sophie. So, how do people get in touch with you? Okay, so uh, you could get in touch with us uh, through our social media platforms. Uh, it's Automation Ghana on all social media platforms, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, we are also on the Spinters Road at uh, the Automation Hub. Yeah, so you could come here, you could visit us here, or you could also reach us uh, via phone uh, 0550 055511. Yeah, so you could reach us on any of these numbers and then uh, you can get in touch with us for your smart home surveys at your sites or visits at your home to advise on how you can have a smart home system. Yes, so, yes. Right. Kofi Asantiodo, thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you very time. much for having me. I have an engaging Kofi Asantiodo. He is a solution sales and consultant with the Automation Ghana Group. So we do have a part two of this conversation for you in our next episode of the Real Estate Show. Um, in that episode, we get to demonstrate um, what constitutes a smart home. So you get to see it. You get to see the smart lights, the smart ACs, the smart fans, and all of that. So do want to tune in next week for our next episode of the Real Estate Show. Right. Thanks so much for joining us on this edition. We are back same time next week with part two of this conversation. See you. Ghana's real estate industry is thriving. A reflection of the growth the nation as a whole is experiencing. Gold Key is part of this story. We have a unique opportunity to introduce world-class standards of luxury to the real estate market in Ghana. From pristine residential projects to high-rise commercial buildings,
Gold Key is changing across landscape. The past decade has seen an amazing journey as we have the structures in place to engineer an even more glorious future.